you got shot a few times. Yeah. The first time that you got shot, was it you around 18 years old? I'm bad with uh, time frame. Probably. Okay. Yeah, I'm probably like 19. 19. Yeah. Okay, so the first situation, what happened? Um, first situation, I got shot on my back. Nothing, just being on the, just being hanging in the neighborhood. Somebody come through shooting. So you're just hanging out with your friends. Yeah. Then a car drives by, opens fire. Yeah. And you get hit in the back. Yeah. One bullet? Yeah. But what part of your back? Like right on the, like my middle back, like in the middle type shit. And this was crazy because JoJo had just died too. And he got shot one time in the back. So as I'm running and I've been to, I probably ran like a block and I knew I was shot. And I'm thinking in my head like, JoJo situation. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, so this is the first time you've ever gotten shot. Yeah. And you're thinking you're gonna die. Uh, no, not really. Just that's the only that was the only thing that made me thinking that it was possible I could have died. I had no feeling that I was gonna die in anything. Like, well, I mean, getting shot in the back, close to your spine. Yeah. Even if you don't die, you could end up in a wheelchair. Yeah. You know, you're. I was thinking that too. Like, should I stop running? Or fuck myself up? Cause yeah. I was feeling fine, but I'm like, I might fuck myself up trying to keep running and shit. Okay, so you you get shot, you run a block, and then do you go to the hospital by yourself or? I end up bumping heads and on the next block to one of the guys did him. I jumped in the car with him, he took me to the hospital. So you go to the hospital. Yeah. And when it comes to a shooting, the police get involved. Yeah. So what, the cops show up? Yeah. In your hospital room? Yeah. And they start asking you what happened? See, when they show up in the hospital room, you can spin them like, you know, you 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 getting surgery and all that, so you really can't talk to them type shit. So they might show up probably a week or something later when they think you good or something. They really try to question to see what happened. Okay. And when they questioned you, what happened? They asked what happened. Somebody come through shooting. I don't know what happened. Didn't see them. That was that. I mean, you're the victim, so it's not like you can get charged with anything. Yeah, for sure. I mean, without naming any names, do you know who did it? Nah. Does that bother you? Uh, nah. Because I understand what I be having going on. So it's like, it can happen. It's just like being an entertainer. It just happens. Be somebody can not like you and you don't, you're not aware of it. You can go out and be in harm's way. That's like the same situation. I mean, did it make you feel different about being outside like that or hanging out in certain areas? No, not really. Just more what, though. Yeah, you could be aware, but if a car comes out of nowhere and... Yeah, but at the same time, a lot of that is really out of your hands. So it really be like, it is what it is when you're out here. It's out of your hands, but being in certain areas that are hot, it's much more likely to happen than if you're in your house or if you're in L.A. or some other shit. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It is and it isn't. Yeah. Oh, um, like when you got shot that day, did other people get shot as well? Nah. You were the only one that got hit? Yeah. Okay. Do you think that it was meant for you? Nah, you just shit. Shooting at the whole crowd. It was probably like about five, six of us out there. Okay. Yeah. Well, then you got shot again? Yeah, probably like two years later. Okay. What was that situation about? Well, the same things. Being on the block, hanging, up, hanging out on the block. Somebody come through shooting. Same, Same situation. Thing. Yeah. And you get hit in the back again? No, nah, I actually got hit in, in, in my hip. Okay. My groin. Did anyone else get hit? Yeah. How many more people got hit? It was just me and another guy. Okay. So now you've been shot a second time. Yeah, feeling like a fucking goof. When you said that, that when you got shot in the hip, that was like the worst pain you went through. Yeah. Yeah, but I actually, I was, I took it like a G because I went like, when I got shot, the other person got shot in the stomach. So he was like, I I was laying next to him and he was like going crazy. So I, that was like calmed me down because I was looking at him like, oh yeah, he tripping. So I ain't want to be tripping too. So I was cool until I actually like, they tried to pick me up because my, 
my hip, my hip, my leg that and my hip, the bone that hurt my hold my leg and my hip together, that's what they shot through. Mm. So that's gone. And them, so it's like when they pick me up, I just feel like my legs is scraping. Feel crazy. I feel everything. Wow. Uh, okay. I mean, did you think you're gonna lose your leg or lose your ability to nah, walk? No, I just knew that motherfucker was broke. And they weren't handling me right. They just letting that motherfucker. All type of shit. Okay, so they take you to the hospital again? Yeah. Then you get surgery? Yeah. Again? Yeah. Police come? Again? Yeah. And then you tell them the same thing? This situation, do you know who did it? Nah. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll leave it at that. I mean, after being outside, like, okay, the two times you got shot, were you in a similar area? Yeah, I was on the next block over. The next block over both times? Yeah. Okay, so the second time you got shot, did you just think, listen, man, I, I need to stop hanging out like this. Like, this is, I'm going to die one day because, I mean, you got lucky both times. Yeah. Right? I mean, if you think about the way a bullet flies, a little bit over, you know, someone holds the gun a little bit different, that goes in your head, that goes in your spine, that goes in your heart. I mean, you, to walk away from two two shootings is extreme luck. Um, uh, only thing that was going through my head at the time is be like, not 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 more so like I gotta stop hanging around here. Just more so like, I right, got it's my second chance he the game. So you either gonna get in that studio and take something serious. Did you think about moving away at that point? Uh, no. Nah. Why not? All, the, all, the, all my friends here, uh, all the guys here, this is everything I know. Well, I'm going to move away and be what? Do what? Man, listen. Go get a job, go get a work a nine to five and tuck out somewhere? No, nah, you could go to, you know, if you're into hip hop, there's lots of places that do hip hop. Seriously. Nah, see, this is how I feel. I feel like. We is like big YouTube artists. So at, at that time, leaving the scenery wouldn't been a smart move. You see artists go into other regions and do well. They be big at that time. I don't feel not, like not I was- Not necessarily, man. A lot of people just link up with the right people, you know, take that yeah. shit seriously. Yeah, for sure. You know, hook up with the right producer. You know, Chicago was hot, so a lot of people want to work with Chicago artists. So, for example, moving to Atlanta, I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of the hot Atlanta producers like, all right, cool, get in the studio with me. Let's see what we got. Atlanta, I don't, I don't really too much care for Atlanta because it's a lot going on down there. A lot going on in Chicago, though. Yeah, but it's my people's here. Okay, I feel you. Oh, um, K.I., how well did you know her? You said how well? Yeah. I knew her, she was one of the guys. I knew her for a minute, but I grew up with her. I went to school with her. Okay. 